Nope, I don't like doing that job either. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. And Ebony got the uh, uh, the toilet duty there. <laughs> this little meter goes up. When it hits the top, they've got to plunge it and clean it out. And it's, it's not a fun job. Otherwise, we've got Murphy and Tomislav over here digging out some more some more space to start expanding the base and Handy is adding water to the algae terrarium which is sucking up all the carbon dioxide and spitting out oxygen good stuff I like the, uh, the animations, the little, little bubbles coming out of it though it would make more sense if we were underwater but it gives the, the sense that oxygen is being added Anyway, we are building our first four bedrooms. We've got to think about food. We've got to think about farming. Um, compost would would add to the farming. So there's a few projects to dive into that are still pretty basic uh, attributes of the game before we get into anything more complicated. Let them clear this out, which is going to allow the oxygen from this guy to disperse a little more evenly down into here. Um... Actually, we are still just pushing through two little holes, aren't we? Huh. I'm not putting vents in this floor. The idea that we're going to capture the carbon dioxide out of the bedrooms and deal with it there. Maybe that's a flawed idea. Don't know. I haven't done that before, so we'll see how well that works. Um, I guess we could locate one in the bedroom areas and one out of the bedroom areas. Hmm. Let's build a second one. Let's pause this guy. We'll just disable him for now. Disable building. Yeah, that's what I want. And someone's going to get the order to go flick that switch. Otherwise, let's put another one in in a more open space. So oxygen. This guy right here. And where? I think that'll do. Kind of offset from this one over here. Yeah, I think that'll work. And let's kick its priority up and get it working. Let's let's ooh, let's play with a nine on that one. <laughs> um, dig eight. Let's get that dug out ahead of it. And both sides will go there. A little open space. It'll start dumping into really the main areas right here. And then. Let's see, power. I need to power that thing. Then we'll get moving on to other things. So, let's do an 8 of power. I'll keep it running through the floors as much as possible. It has a negative 5 decor effect. So if you hide it inside the, the floors, it will uh, it'll minimize that or eliminate that. How can we see that? Electrical wiring. Let's get it built and we'll we'll see if we can tell the difference between what's in this square and what's in this square decor wise. See if it does that or if I need to go into the decor map over here. Which will tell us that they're happy about this. They're not too happy about much else. They like plants. They're not gonna like planter boxes. They don't like the uh, uh, the storage compactors. They will like the artwork that we'll put up in here. Anyway. What, uh, what are we working on right now? Research? Are we still researching? 20? 20, we're not. So let's get into this guy, the gas permeable tiles. And someone will get to work on that. Now, here's something I'm going to try with this series. I've always dedicated the best researcher to the job so I can get it done quickly. But the more they do a job, the more they increase in that skill. And learning is a skill that increases the, the rate of increase on all the other skills. It would be wise to get some learning into all of them. So there is that to think about. There really is. Let's... What was that? <laughs> Someone squealed. Um, let's do that. Let's say that Murphy at 7 is already in great shape. Let's let Handy and Dr. Tomislav the opportunity to get at least a 1 or a 2 on their learning. They're at zeros right now, right? 
zero, zero. Oh, zero and one. Okay. Let's give them a shot at research and see if we can't boost that a little bit. So again, one hatch, two hatch. Just trying to keep track of three hatches. Trying to keep track of what I'm going to have to wrangle later. And little concern, he can jump up that far. I wonder if he will accidentally dive in the water. He will not be able to jump up that far. We may lose him before we get around to this. In fact, let's... Well, first of all, I want that cleaned up. Let's... Hatch. No, not, not that one. Algae. Level 9 sweep that one. Okay. If it's still there by morning. Otherwise, let's kick the priority up to take out that dirt there and get into here. Anyway, I, one of the reasons I had them get to work on digging some of these out, oh, this is, this is up and running, is that um, uh, I needed sandstone. By setting up all of these blueprints, it committed all of our sandstone so that there was nothing left to, uh, to go and, and build with. So we finally should have caught up by now so now we can get into other things one thing Catherine had brought up the point that if we were to door this off we would contain the cold in here and it would work better and that is true there's quite a bit of cold oozing in if you go over here you can see uh, temperature there we go the cold here officially ends at the stonework but it's oozing in to the space here and into the air here. So this is nice and cold. It's uncomfortably cold for the dupes. But yeah, eventually we will be sealing in all of our temperatures where possible. Research complete. That was the last one. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Well, I'll take that back. We don't have a... We do have a door that can contain it. Oh, good. Okay. I think this will contain temperature. At least it'll contain air which the temperature is flowing through. So we'll go with that. She's having a little trouble breathing over here. We've got a carbon dioxide problem. Um, we need to vent these down into this void, and then that's where we can get to work. Before we get the bedrooms going, let's get to work on that. Prioritize eights, all of this, to there. And let's deconstruct just the building right here, because in here we're going to have a tile and an electrical wire hiding in there. If you deconstruct, you take out both. But we've got the ability to deconstruct just the building. So let's do what? Let's follow the same pattern. There. There. Did that work? Why did that not work? Deconstruct building. Maybe it didn't like being in that, that mode. That screen. There it goes. Right there. All right. So pop these out. We'll put in the gas permeable tiles when we're done. Carbon dioxide will drop down into here. And we'll put in another one of these to deal with it. And if this isn't enough, we'll put... Hey, well, we'll put one in right there. That's not it. Okay. Cancel you. There we go. And if one isn't enough, we'll put them directly underneath the ventilator. But that will take care of the majority of the carbon dioxide dropping out of this area into here. This is going to clean this area up, and it may be done. Once we clean this area up, we may just, just disassemble that guy. We'll see what the uh, results are. But we do have a door, so let's get back to that one. Pneumatic door right there. Tile. Sandstone right there. And the door was made out of copper. Yeah, I only have the copper choice right now. Eventually, we'll get into gold right there. And then I know there's iron in places, but usually it's quite a ways out. And then there is a new one. Word something like Wolverite or Wolverine or well, some unusual name. I wonder if it actually exists or if that's something they created for the game. But um, it has to do with uh, the transference of heat. But it's it acts as a metal, I believe. I've seen it in Let's Plays. I've not dealt with it myself. Just seeing what else has been exposed since we've been playing. It hasn't grown that much since last time. The further we get out, the further the fog of war goes away. 
That is the same one we saw before, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we haven't... Uh, that map hasn't expanded that much. All right, so let's get this guy set to an eight and make sure he happens. Now, I was going to talk to you about these. The buildings, you set the priority to get it built. And then you set the priority priority again to decide what you want to uh, do with it during the life of the machine. We want this to be a very important item. Along with that, I did an eight there, and we'll do an eight here. So this, as an eight, is going to, uh, they're going to maintain it. They're going to continue feeding it. And feeding it means what? This one requires algae and power. So you have an input and an output on every device in the game. So it outputs, in exchange for 550 grams per second, I guess that's what that would mean. That seems like an awful lot of algae. It's going to put out 500 grams per second of oxygen. So you'll see how quickly your algae will go away in this game. And it puts out some heat. And it puts out a negative decor. Negative 10 for, two, for a span of two, uh, two tiles on each side. So, but this symbol means that... It's missing a foundation. It can't run if it's not sitting on a floor. And it has no power because we haven't finished that one right there. So let's take a look at all this. Priorities first. 8-8, eight, eight, but we threw a few more 8s into the batch. So they're choosing those 8s instead of these 8s. That's why you want to reserve 9s for emergencies. So that if you really need that done, you can say, Guys, hit that one and that one for me, please. Thank you. That one and that one, and this one. Need to get that floor in. And we have a dupe. At least the possibility of a dupe. Let's see if there's anything to keep. Not looking good. Empty. Empty, except for construction. I'm going to really try to concentrate on getting at least a one or a two in learning. Tomislav was requesting a doctor, and I didn't expect to see a doctor to come in for quite some time. And suddenly, there it was, so I grabbed it. But from now on, let's concentrate on getting some learning into these guys. So we're going to reject them. Otherwise, that's going to be built. Once this is built. And Handy, while adding materials to this one, decided just to do the whole area. Cool. That is in. Two segments, three segments of power waiting. Let's prioritize. I missed one. Right there. Yeah. Alright, we're doing a lot of breathing problems. Alright, our algae terrarium is in. It needs to be told that it's important. But let's, let's look at gases. So we're building up in here. Gotta get that guy going. We turn this one off. So we have a low concentration of gas. It's getting rough in here. We'll turn this guy back on for a while. Enable. This is about to be turned on once these go in. They're ignoring the nines. That is interesting. They're too busy doing other things. You'll grab the switch, but you won't put in the electric wire. Because it's unreachable. Uh, yeah. Okay. I just noticed something else, too. Let's dig out that group that fell in from over here. All right, so we're going to... Actually, we'll dig you at a little bit higher number right there. So we need to get into here. Let's go ahead and prioritize 8, this whole floor, and get it built. And what was with the void? That void... In fact, while I'm thinking of it, pause. Let's cancel just the building right there. Let's leave these vents open. The only thing that's not vented is this floor. But these vents will be open and consistently down through. Alright, so with that, go ahead and continue. That we can go ahead and take out. That was oxalite right in there. I think that's what's what's up with that. So let's dig 8U and research 13 out of 20 so far. Oops, no, turn back on. And we'll get the vents that'll go into these openings. That one is not supposed to be a vent. Why did I do that? That was an accident. Tile, sandstone, eight, you go there. 
All right, so with that, we are putting in the wires. Yep. And we have a place to stand, and we're going to... <laughs> narcoleptic sleep. Where does it say that? There it is, narcoleptic nap. And holding his breath because oxygen is pretty iffy over here. Now, what happened here? We're waiting for... Power. Which one? I don't know. Ah, we're waiting for algae to be delivered, and it just was. Okay, now we're going to get some, some oxygen put back into this place. Algae, what are you looking like? Organic, algae, 6,200. There's still quite a bit to, to gather over here, and a few other spots. Okay. We didn't release any other hatches with all that digging, did we? One, two, he's, he's going to be loving it over here. And there. I'm surprised they don't drown in this. They, they're pretty uh, fragile when it comes to, to water. They don't last long at all. What are you? Nope. Okay. So with that, I'm trying to turn off the darkness. It doesn't work. <laughs> we got this going on. Let's, get, let's make that happen. So that'll be today's project. Make you an eight. Get that one going. We are cleaning up the carbon dioxide in here, little by little. We're cleaning it up over here, but we're sure generating it. What is generating the carbon dioxide? Does this emit carbon dioxide? Let's look at it this way. Station. Supercomputer hasn't actually been used. They emit heat, but there's no output of a gas. Okay. This one takes in dirt, takes in power, puts out research, and puts out heat. This one takes in water and power and puts out heat. And research and overheats if it gets to temperature 167 Fahrenheit. Aha! That was a skill up. You just saw that little uh, little glow right there. Hard work and repetition has improved, and you've got to read it quick. So you guys can back up and read that. She just gained something. Oh, she probably gained uh, um, the uh, learning. So handy. Research, she's at a three. Great. So that was the idea. Let's get her up to like a five. Then we'll, we'll just keep cycling them in and out of here. And we're still having a lot of breathing problems here. A lot of holding our breath. But if we're happy over here. Oh, yep. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> um, all right. I think... I'm not sure... If this will be destroyed when that is built and it has nothing to go up, no space to go up to to sit on top. That tends to be the case. This is a muckroot. Um, I was going to say seed, but that's actually the muckroot itself. So this is edible. Don't want to lose that. Let's cancel that tile. Let's dig this out. Dig. We'll dig nine on that one and we'll sweep nine on that one. Okay, let's kind of watch that happen. Before this update, and well, let's say, I think before the thermal update, so a couple cycles back, what got built over was destroyed. If there wasn't a way for it to rise up one square when it finally got crushed, it was gone. You go through and dig that up again and all those materials were not there anymore. So I don't know that that has been completely fixed. Food shortage. We've blocked our access to the food. Dig. Nine. Take that out. Fell out of here. So this one, let's sweep nine that one. Good. Wait, it just vanished. You, oh, you grabbed it right there. You're going to eat it. Right? Oh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay. You are... Oh, algae terrariums been buried here, too. Okay. Now we're up and running. You sweep. And sweep big time. Let's get that put away. Ooh, you're ready to harvest. Let's set all of our food to harvest at 8. So that gets done. 
we don't have much of it. So we need to think about that here real soon. Food here or food here? And both of these may just be temporary, just to get us going for now. We've got 16,000 kilocals right here at the moment. Food, I believe, puts off heat. The growing process. So, and requires certain temperatures to operate efficiently. So you've got to think about your placement as well as, and or, supplying it with cooler or warmer water and or air to offset any issues. For now, carbon dioxide is going to drop down in here. Eventually, though, it's going to be clear in here. Theoretically. Until we get enough dupes to, to overwhelm the system. How are we doing down there right now? Not very good. Plants will get stifled. I'm thinking up here would be a better place. So let's do it there. Let's get food. For now, planter boxes. We'll get into something a little more complicated later. For now, let's go ahead and get... I only had the one choice. Yeah, I'll make it out of dirt. Let's fill this area with food. Now, these guys have a negative decor for a two-tile to one side. Well, actually we'll do that, and we will cancel these guys. So when they're running up the ladder, they don't get that negative hit. Go and buy it. And if that isn't enough food, then we'll, we'll deal with the negative later and get some more going. Let's up the priority on food planter boxes. Get that one happening. This just got all dug out. Um, it wouldn't hurt to put a sweep order in here and clean all this up so that our hatch doesn't eat all of it. He makes coal. Consumable ore. 6,800. Seems like a lot. If you're running a coal generator, it will run out quite fast. Coal generator makes a lot of pollution, a lot of carbon dioxide, just fills a, a huge area up with it. So it's kind of hard to deal with. But it gets your dupes back to do other things rather than running squirrel cages all day long. And they will be running squirrel cages all day long when we get more and more items in here to uh, to clean up or to, to run on electricity. Just noticing that our storage compactor, which has the, the polluted dirt from the outhouses, has polluted dirt now and is dumping this uh, polluted oxygen into the air. It's, it's making smog. So, and it's going to start spreading and oozing around. So we are going to want to deal with that soon. Oxygen, just got a research in. So let's go for what it takes to clean that up next. What we did just get in was the gas permeable tile, which is made out of copper. Let's kick that up to an eight and drop it in. And it'll go into the bedrooms as well. And we'll go ahead and set these in. Now, if you watch the 8406, it commits 100 of that copper each time I do it. So I could set all the rest of them, but it will potentially, uh, or eventually, run us out of copper like we ran out of sandstone, setting all the rest of the blueprints in. Um, okay, they're putting those in. Let's go to research. What I want is sanitation. This guy right here, the air deodorizer. So it pulls the stink out of the polluted oxygen, leaving just oxygen behind. That's the concept there. That one's going to be important here real soon, especially when we decide to get into areas like, well, this isn't all that polluted, actually. There's some in there. It's actually mostly oxygen. A little concentration, but it's mostly oxygen. Interesting. Interesting. So it comes out of polluted dirt. I thought, I thought it comes out of slime. Slime balls. Maybe when they're exposed to the air. Otherwise, it just pollutes the water. That could be it. But we will head into these areas and clean up the oxygen so they can flow into the base. Here's a larger supply of it. Yeah. So we'll put that... Uh, uh, will it list it now? They will not. That um, deodorizer up in here. And clean all that up. Anyway, food is waiting for us. So we're going to plant 
I'm going to put a blossom seed on each end. These are much more... Oh, I didn't get plant. Much more uh, picky. They, they stifle much easier. So we'll just experiment with those to see how they work. But plant that guy. Um, let's take priority to 8. And let's copy settings. And say do the same thing to all of... Well, to those. I'll have to do that one again. You, 8, and 8. Now we've got auto repair. We've got... That's it. I thought auto harvest would be in here. I guess you have to click the plant itself. Ah. Interesting. You got a priority on the box. Eight. You got a priority on the plant for harvesting. Aha. So the box maybe the priority has to do with replanting, putting a new seed in. Whereas the plant itself has a priority dealing with the harvesting. That might be it. Three harvests available. The more ideal your growth, the more the better chance of getting a seed with the harvest to replant after those three harvests are done. Let's harvest eight, auto harvest, span the whole thing. That's interesting. Why am I not getting the same symbol between this one and that one? What is different? Eight, eight. Maybe the game just has to update. I'm not seeing any changes. Growth progress is about the only change there. Okay. Yep, it moved. All right. You, eight. Guess we'll get to that tomorrow. So we're making oxygen. Starting to fill back up again. We're probably by tomorrow going to get the beds, the bedrooms done. That's probably a goal for the uh, the next cycle here. Um, composting is about the only other thing that we could be dealing with right now. Let's do that. What would that be? Refinement? Yeah. Compost. We can make fertilizer using, I believe, the polluted, polluted water. Or we can make it using the polluted soil. So let's grab this guy, put him over here in the stink zone. And out of... That's interesting. It's almost like it's automatically choosing the best one now. It always started over here. I ended up building everything accidentally out of obsidian. But I have not dealt with compost, and it seems to be automatically set for sandstone. Interesting. Does it tell me? Yeah, waiting for sandstone. Okay. So, take you up to an eight... Let's dig out eight that area. Let's floor sandstone eight that area. Okay, so that's something I want to get done. We'll take the dirt out of here, compost it into fertilizer, which means I'm going to want you to also accept fertilizer, which we haven't discovered yet, apparently, even though that's it right there. Hmm, I guess we haven't actually dug one up. Alrighty. No cracks forming? No. How about this one? No cracks are forming. Good. Water pressure will break through. We're too wide over here. Probably don't have enough pressure against the top one. If I was only one wide all the way down to here, we would see cracks forming at this point and it would burst out. But that seems to be holding. And it depends on the material build out of this is sandstone, right? It's not telling me. Interesting. I thought it would say this material. Sandstone. There it is in details. Okay. If you were to build that out of obsidian or granite or one of the others. In fact, I wonder if the order that it is placed in here has anything to do with it. Sandstone. Not going to get any more detail. Um, run speed into core. Now, your decor could change from material to material. Seems like there was a difference between copper and gold in, oh, I think it was electrical efficiencies, that sort of thing. So I wonder if sandstone details will give you things like the 
Oh, there's specific heat uh, capacity. I'm wondering... Mass. Would mass be it? Dealing with its, its structural integrity. How strong is it? I'd be curious to get a granite tile soon and compare the numbers. I know granite will withstand more uh, weight, more pressure. I wonder how it quantifies that in its description so that we can know what kind of materials to use in different places. Otherwise, we're working on that. We're bringing up power, we're researching, and we're going to get this going. Is that right? Struggling for air over... Still struggling for air over here. Ha. Huh. That's frustrating, and I can't vent this down. Not safely. They will have accidents once in a while. Sand drops down, blocks this. I don't realize that they're over here needing to use the outhouse and can't get over, and suddenly there's a, a real embarrassed face on somebody, and, and uh, yeah, accidents happen. So, and they, they drop into your water supply. So you just don't want to vent right here. Although I say that, and I forgot, we just got our gas permeable tiles. We can vent to here now. Ooh. Okay. You are waiting for a seed. Oh. We didn't, I didn't copy into that one. Okay. Copy settings. There. All right. That's good. Now, what next? I do want to convert the meal wood. What do you call them? The little worms, the little, the little mealies, to, into uh, a loaf that is a little better for them. So we want to probably do food production over here. Just debating what to do with the plants. I think we're going to dig these up. That one right there, he just ate. I want to convert that into a loaf. In fact, there's one right there. Why is that not being cleaned up? This is a nine. And they're not getting... There, she got the order to do it. Okay, so it does happen. That's what I wanted to make sure. I didn't want to have to manually chase food down over and over again saying, go clean this up. So, let's dig... Let's... I guess dig up. That's the way to do it. These guys. In fact, we'll dig up these guys as a 9, then we'll dig up the, the dirt as an 8. <laughs> Alright, half a cycle through. I'm going to take care of this. We're taking care of this. Once that guy is done, let's make sure that all of this becomes an 8. Let's get this done. Priority, eight. Everything in there. Okay. And for that matter, let's get this done too. Plants are going to be done. They'll clean this out. And we will vent down into here. So, now I can't place this over the top, can I? If I do, where? Oh, I can. Okay, so you're going there. We're going to make some here. And we'll do something right there. Okay, that's good. And let's make that one also a pretty important, not deconstruct. Priority. Let's get. Oh, I wanted. None of these are going to be convenient. Uh, Alright, we'll make sure that one gets done. We'll dig this out. In fact, let's priority both of these guys up. Let's get this one done and get this carbon dioxide dealt with. In order to get to... Well, they may do both. We'll see how this works. I could ladder across. Let's see what Murphy's up to. He's going to fill in the building materials, but he's got to punch his way through. So if I were to... Before he does that, priority 8 that one. Let's see if we can get him to... Punch a hole through. No, he's going to build it right over the top. Ah, I didn't know they did that. I thought they had to destroy the one behind and then put the one in front. 
Okay. Well, in that case, let's ladder this guy at 8 across and build kind of like a bridge. Keeps them out of the water so they don't get cold. They just kind of hop over. And he'll come over and punch this one through. And that'll let the carbon dioxide start to drop in. Now, for that matter, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and dig as an 8 that one and that one. And these are priority eight. We'll go ahead and get those going as well. But they got these orders first. I'm assuming they're going to be working up here first. Now, decor. Let's talk about that. That one. I've got to shut this episode down. Over here, we've got... Decor total of negative 29. The Bristle Blossom adds 15. Tile, they like the, the floors versus just a dirt floor, so that adds 10. But the planter box is a negative 30. The mealwood plant is a negative 20. Guess they don't care for mealwood, huh? Yeah. They like these, though, right? Bristle Blossom plus 15. They like the Bristle Blossom, they don't like the mealwood. Okay. So. Accumulatively, we're at a negative 35 right in here. The wiring, negative 12. But hidden behind the ladder? No, you still see the negative 12 out there. But you don't see it there. So for two tiles means this one and the one next to it. So a grand total of three tiles. All right, that's what I was wondering about for this guy. So he's two tiles wide. That is the... The oxidizer negative nine. Over here you get a negative nine. Over here you get another negative nine. Was he like five tiles wide? Two tile radius. Well, that blew my theory. Decor? Negative nine, negative nine. So that's two tiles to the side, all right. So wiring, negative 12, negative 12 but no wiring. <laughs> I give up. <clears throat> give up trying to make sense of it all. It doesn't always add up, huh? Ah, uh, we've blocked ourselves over here. Well, let's get that cleaned out. Have you done that anywhere else? Two people have found beds. Tomislav and Murphy. Two more beds about to be punched out tomorrow. And... I guess that's about it. Last thing to deal with that I can think of. Well, two more things. Compost. We'll take it up to an 8. So we'll grab this dirt and start turning it into something that doesn't leave a stink. And this door over here. Take that up. I take my doors to a 9. If I need this thing locked, or if I need it opened up to vent something, I want them to drop everything and go do that. Leave it at a 5 and set it for something. They will ignore it until all of the 6s, 7s, 8s, and 9s are done. So that guy's important. I do those. Otherwise, we're going to build our ladder. Ladder... F what do you call a, a bridge that goes across a canyon that is just... Ro I guess rope bridge. Well, eh, not quite what I'm thinking of. So, you know, rope and slats. We'll call, I guess we'll call this our ladder bridge. Yeah. Our ladder bridge across the top of the water to reach these places to dig out so we can get the carbon dioxide vented. In fact, let's do that real quick right now. I want to. Well, that is a nine. So, oh, they haven't built these. All right, well, let's prioritize these guys at nine just to make it happen before we turn this off. I like to keep these episodes in the 30 minute range. We're going a little long this time. What was that research is done? We'll pick a new research next episode. Give, uh, who we got in here now? We've got Tomislav in here right now. Gaining. Learning two. Great. Zero up to a two. And Handy got to a four. All right. So, with that, you're still down in the water. Huh. I didn't expect that. I thought they would do that and this carbon dioxide when it does finally start dropping in and what's already in here it's going to ooze and drift over and catch this guy then we can shut this one down theoretically we'll see if that that works the way that I had planned 
Otherwise, I think we're going to call this one done. Yep, this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.